Boy, I used to have facial hair, but then it grew on me. Father, stop! <laughs> What happened? Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone! I'm the Global Chair and I'll be revealing new details for God of War Ragnarok, interesting theories, and the full breakdown on the story. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! When you are at your weakest. In fear and doubt are a burden too heavy to bear. Remember this. You are not alone. God of War Ragnarok is the highly anticipated sequel of 2018's God of War, coming to PS4 and PS5 on November 9th. This game takes place a few years after the last game and is the final chapter of the Norse saga. At the end of the God of War 2018 game, Midgard is hit by the freezing winds of Fimblewinter, and the wise Mimir warns Kratos and Atreus of the approaching event of Ragnarok, the end of the world. Kratos' son Atreus also discovers his mother's past as a giant and his identity as a half-god and half-giant, Loki. The giants called me... Loki? This sequel to God of War will explore that ending further. Our boy Atreus has reached adolescence and is fighting alongside his father for survival as Ragnarok unfolds. God of War Ragnarok will continue to explore the complexity of their interactions. Teen Atreus was described by PlayStation Blog as desperately curious and was willing to risk a war with Asgard and a fight with the gods to seek answers on his heritage. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? <laughs> Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Atreus cannot let go of the mystery of Loki's role in the upcoming conflict. He wants to keep his family safe. However, he refuses to stand by and do nothing while chaos threatens the Nine Realms. Meanwhile, Kratos wants to protect his son from the bloody lessons he learned from his conflicts with the gods. He killed his fellow Greek gods after all and wanted to live his life as Dad of Boy rather than God of War. War is not the only way. Their confrontation with Odin's son Baldur has formed a belief that only tragedy will come from conversing with the Aesir. However, from a trailer, Atreus believes that war will stop Ragnarok and suggests his father think like a general. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general! No! Whatever choices our lovable duo makes will define the fate of the living in the Nine Realms as Ragnarok approaches. These two are in a war with the Aesir and are seeking Tyr, the old god of war. That's this tall guy over here that looks like he could play in the NBA, eh? Tyr! Are you coming with us? There was a theory that he could help Kratos and Atreus in taking down the Aesir. Odin was keen on ensuring Tyr's disappearance, so turning the tide of the war against his Aesir family for justice does not seem very far-fetched. As the previous god of war, he put his godhood in service of others and uses the power of knowledge to stop wars. He is a key character to Atreus and Kratos in stopping Ragnarok. Odin's birds have been spying on them from the beginning. Therefore, Odin himself will be expected to make an appearance in the sequel. The antagonists of God of War Ragnarok will be Freya and Thor. Freya turned on Kratos after he killed her son Baldur. She continues to seek vengeance after she swore to make him suffer. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and Feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell! That is my promise! Little did she know, she contributed to her son's suffering by taking away his ability to feel pain and joys of life. She will be a threat as she is a formidable warrior and powerful user of Vanir magic, turning every weapon at her disposal towards her son's murderer. As declared in Atreus' prophecy in the previous God of War game, Thor will confront him and his father because they killed his son Modi and Magni, as well as his half-brother Baldur. Are you a calm and reasonable person? They're already on the Aesir's hit list when Kratos intended on teaching his son peace. Thor will be a threat to Kratos as one of the most powerful Aesir gods, and the biggest butchering bastard of the Nine Realms. Mimir's words, not mine. However, if Kratos happens to kill Thor, could we use his hammer Mjolnir to take out Odin? These are characters that seek retribution from us, but lovable characters will return to the game. Brock and Sindri, the Dwarven Brothers. They will bicker occasionally, but they give us uniquely brandished weapons. Have you seen my brother again? Yeah, he 
You said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No, I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No, over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No, and I'm tight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any. Ah! Burn that. Speaking of weapons, Ragnarok will have improved combat mechanics and systems. The developers promised more visceral fights with new attack abilities, a new runic summon for Atreus, and the return of Kratos' legendary weapons, his Leviathan Axe and Blades of Chaos. Eric Williams, the director at Santa Monica Studio, stated that the game will have different shields with different defensive options and abilities. The studio really wanted to open up the player's expressive choice to the way we built our Kratos. Dad of Boy will face harsher and more varied enemies apart from the Hell Reapers, including the host of new creatures from Norse mythology. In Ragnarok, players will also visit all nine realms including the previously unreachable Vanaheim, Svartalfheim, and Asgard as well as familiar locations from the last game. Sony has launched new information on the bonuses that come along with the standard Digital Deluxe, the Collectors, and the Jotnar editions. In a video, Ryan Hurst, Thor's actor, and Rafe, the art director, unboxed the Collectors edition and Jotnar edition. Yes, this is the, the Knowledge Keeper Shrine. The Knowledge Keeper's Shrine, of yes, course. Yes, we've seen this before in the game, mm -hmm. and we want to make it an experience, so everything about this is the secret compartments and everything. Some items in those editions are a Dwarven dice set, veneer twin carvings assumed to be Freya and Freyr, a voucher code for downloadable content, armor sets, a God of War digital soundtrack, a 16-inch Mjolnir replica, and a Drabnir ring. Players can upgrade the game from the standard PS4 edition to a PS5 edition with a $10 fee. There could also possibly be a PC version of the game given Sony's track record of bringing their biggest PlayStation games to PC. Ragnarok pre-orders will begin on July 15 at 10 a.m. for the gamers in Eastern Time. For Pacific Time, the time will be 7 a.m. If you pre-order any edition of God of War Ragnarok, you could also receive Risen Snow Armor for Kratos and matching attire for Atreus. Atreus may be older, but Kratos will always find a way to coordinate their outfits. Why? Dad and boy must match. Moving on to other theories. How Atreus discovers heritage. The new reveal trailer showed their encounter with the wolf Fenrir. Everyone identified the wolf as Fenrir from the broken chains around his legs. He was suspected to have been hiding in Helheim but emerged from his hiding place in Midgard. It's really confusing knowing this large wolf is the son of Loki, aka Atreus and Anger Boda, but Loki is a teen. Huh. This cute world serpent is also their child. You're a dad, boy. I've still got it, lads. You remember me? Why you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh, Makuna Huntunku. Then again, time traveling is not a foreign concept to God of War. Players theorize that Kratos and Atreus will free Fenrir from the Aesir's control by destroying the bracelet Glypnir, and this wolf will aid them in their fight against the Aesir. Fenrir was known to kill Odin after all. Another interesting theory from the God of War enthusiasts state that the rescued Valkyries and dragons from the previous game will aid us in our battle against the Aesir. A different theory speculates that Kratos will be killed by his son Atreus, but let's face it, he can't die. Kratos killed himself and still lived. I'm still alive, boy. The 2018 God of War game was one of my best gaming memories and I was very excited to hear the news about a sequel coming this year. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to join the family, and provide your opinions and theories on the game in the comments. It's been years since I've played the last God of War, but I'm happy to spread the hype and share new details on a legendary game. Will you be buying God of War Ragnarok? Thank you for watching and that's all. Again. <laughs>